in this problem, um, and we're going to call this problem, problem nine, the whoever loaded this plane needs to be fired problem. Um, we'll just go there. So um, again, you've got a strap that's holding down your, your load, and this time a significant fraction of it, all right? 11 centimeters is slack. And so, you know, your load's just kind of sitting there. Um, and the, the, you know, is just, just, you know, it's not even tied down. Basically, it's not tied down. So, um, it's just sitting there. It's not tied down. It goes accelerating off. At this point, you know how to get the acceleration. You've got Young's modulus. You know you're going to take these. You're going to convert them to meters by, um, dividing by 100 to get to meters, right? And same thing for this. You get those converted to meters. You're going to get the area. You're going to calculate the force per unit area, all of that. And this is really problem seven all over again. So you're going to cal calculate the spring constant, which... Um, let me get that back in my memory real quick is um, YA over L naught. So you got to convert L naught over into meters to get that correct. So you got your spring constant. You're going to go back to the formula from, from um, um, problem seven. This is 2A times um, X, right? 2A times X. And um, so you got all of that. You got 2ax, remember that had x minus x naught, but x naught was 0, and had v naught squared, but that's also 0. All right, so you got all this. And you can use conservation of energy. 1 half mv squared is 1 half uh, kx squared. And I, I, I draw so great, and I hope you guys can hear my dog in the background. Um, all right, so you're going to use conservation of energy. You're going to figure out how far this strap stretches and then you're going to take that number and do delta l over l naught times 100 percent to get it to percentage and the reason i want to do this because this is again i said that whoever loaded this plane needs to be fired problem um so if you're stretching this on the order of 10 to 15 percent you're at risk of it failing and what happens if the strap fails well, if the strap fails, the load simply keeps on going. And, and what happens when you're you're climbing in an aircraft and you have a load that's going that way? Well, you know, as it goes that way, that that shifts your center of mass and the plane rotates that way. And um, you do you don't really want that happening. This is, you know, this is why tying down things in an aircraft is really important because you really don't want your plane kind of um, going nose up on you uh, and stalling on takeoff. So um, there you go. Uh, so 10 to 15 percent, you're at risk of failure of the strap, right? So let me know what you get and uh, good luck with this problem.